Greek mythology weaves a captivating tapestry of gods, goddesses, heroes, and epic tales that have withstood the test of time. Rooted in ancient Greece, these captivating narratives form the bedrock of Western literary and cultural heritage. The pantheon of gods, residing on Mount Olympus, ruled over various domains, embodying both human and divine characteristics. From Zeus, the mighty king of thunder, to Athena, the wise and fierce goddess of war, each deity held unique powers and traits. Hey, welcome back to History in Minutes. Today, we'll be unraveling this intricate tapestry filled with splendor, jealousy, and the unexplainable. Chaos and the Origins of the Universe In Greek mythology, the creation of the universe begins with chaos, a void of formless and limitless potential. From chaos emerged Gaia, Tartarus, and Eros. Gaia then gave birth to Uranus, and together, they became the first divine couple. Uranus and Gaia produced a multitude of powerful beings, including the Titans, the Cyclopes, and the Hecatonchires, which are the hundred-handed giants. The Titans and the Olympian Gods In Greek mythology, the Titans, formidable deities born from Gaia and Uranus, faced a faithful uprising led by Kronos, who overthrew his father with Gaia's aid and became the ruler of the Titans. Driven by a prophecy, Kronos devoured his children, except Zeus, whom Rhea saved by tricking Kronos with a stone. Zeus grew up in secret and eventually confronted Kronos, leading to a grand battle between the Titans and the younger gods, the Olympians. The Olympians emerged victorious, banishing the Titans to Tartarus. Zeus became the king of gods and established his dominion on Mount Olympus. The twelve Olympians, including Zeus, Hera, Poseidon, Demeter, Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Ares, Aphrodite, Hephaestus, Hermes, and Dionysus formed the principal deities of Greek mythology. Zeus Zeus, the mighty ruler of the Olympian gods in Greek mythology, held dominion over the heavens, the earth, and all natural phenomena. He upheld justice, protected guests, and ensured the sanctity of oaths and treaties. Often portrayed with a thunderbolt, he symbolized his mastery over lightning and thunder, while the eagle represented his divine authority and power. Zeus's notable myths include his overthrow of his father, Cronus, and the Titans, establishing the rule of the Olympians. His tumultuous marriage to his sister Hera was a recurring theme in many stories. Additionally, Zeus's numerous love affairs with both goddesses and mortals gave rise to legendary heroes such as Hercules, Perseus, and Helen of Troy. Hera Hera, the queen of the gods in Greek mythology, played a significant role as the goddess of marriage, family, and childbirth. As Zeus's sister and wife, she held a crucial position in the affairs of Mount Olympus. Symbolized by the peacock, her regal and majestic nature reflected her status as the highest-ranking goddess among the Olympians. Hera's prominent myths included her jealousy and animosity towards Zeus's affairs, leading to her vengeance against his illegitimate offspring and his lovers, such as Io and Echo. Her involvement in the Golden Apple of Discord also triggered the Trojan War, as her rivalry with Athena and Aphrodite sparked a series of events culminating in a devastating conflict. Poseidon Poseidon, the formidable god of the sea in Greek mythology, ruled over the vast waters, making him a dominant force among the Olympian deities. Poseidon's domain extended beyond the oceans, including rivers, lakes, and even earthquakes. His role as the sea god granted him power over the tempestuous waves and gave him the ability to influence maritime activities and seafaring. Symbolically, Poseidon was often depicted wielding a trident, a three-pronged weapon capable of causing and quelling storms. The trident symbolized his authority over the seas and represented his ability to command the mighty waters. One of the key myths linked to Poseidon is his contest with Athena to become the patron deity of Athens. Poseidon presented a spring of salt water, while Athena offered an olive tree. Athena's gift was deemed more valuable, securing her status as the city's protector. Demeter 
Demeter, the nurturing goddess of agriculture in Greek mythology, held a vital role in the prosperity of the earth and the growth of crops. As the sister of Zeus and the mother of Persephone, her domain revolved around the fertility of the land, ensuring bountiful harvests and abundant crops. Farmers and cultivators revered her, seeking her favor for a fruitful harvest. Symbolically, Demeter's attributes included wheat, which represented the staple grain and sustenance for the ancient Greeks. The cornucopia, a horn of plenty, was another symbol associated with her, representing abundance and prosperity. A key myth associated with Demeter is the abduction of her daughter Persephone by Hades, the god of the underworld. Demeter's grief and mourning during Persephone's absence led to the changing seasons where winter represented her sorrow and the barren earth, while spring marked her daughter's return, bringing forth the renewal of life and crops. Athena Athena, the revered goddess of wisdom and warfare in Greek mythology, embodied intellect, strategy, and strategic warfare. As the daughter of Zeus, she was not born in the conventional sense, but emerged fully grown and armored from Zeus's forehead, symbolizing her divine origin and wisdom. Athena's domain extended beyond battle tactics, as she was the patron goddess of various crafts, arts, and civilization. Symbolically, Athena's attributes included the owl, a wise and nocturnal creature representing her intelligence and watchfulness. The Aegis, a protective shield adorned with the head of the Gorgon Medusa, was another symbol associated with Athena, signifying her divine protection and power. A notable story involves Athena's assistance to various heroes, including her guidance to Perseus during his quest to slay Medusa and her support to Odysseus throughout his epic journey home in the Odyssey. Apollo Apollo, the radiant god of sun, music, and prophecy in Greek mythology, had a diverse and influential role among the Olympian deities. He ruled over the sun's life-giving rays, inspired musicians and artists, and possessed the gift of prophecy. Depicted with a lyre, he symbolized his patronage of the arts and inspired poets and musicians. The laurel wreath represented victory and honored those favored by him. Key myths included Apollo serving as the god of prophecy at the Oracle of Delphi, relaying divine messengers to seekers. Additionally, his pursuit of the nymph Daphne, who transformed into a laurel tree to evade him, became a significant tale of love and transformation. Artemis Artemis, the graceful goddess of the hunt and the moon in Greek mythology, commanded the wilderness and all creatures within it. As the twin sister of Apollo and daughter of Zeus and Leto, she was a skilled huntress, often portrayed with a bow and arrow symbolizing her prowess as a huntress and her ability to protect and nurture wildlife. The silver crescent moon was another prominent symbol associated with Artemis, representing her connection to the lunar cycle. Key myths linked to Artemis include her role in protecting women and young girls, as well as her involvement in the story of Actaeon, whom she transformed into a stag as punishment for witnessing her bathing. Ares Ares, the fearsome god of war in Greek mythology, personified the brutal and chaotic aspects of battle. As the son of Zeus and Hera, his domain revolved around the destructive nature of warfare and the bloodshed of conflict. Ares was often depicted with a spear, representing his martial prowess and his thirst for battle. The vulture was closely associated with him, symbolizing the scavenging nature of war and its aftermath. Key myths associated with Ares include his role in the Trojan War, where he sided with the Trojans and exhibited a fierce and violent disposition on the battlefield. Despite being revered as the god of war, Ares was not highly regarded by the ancient Greeks, who often saw the destructive side of war and its consequences. Hades Hades was the enigmatic god of the underworld in Greek mythology, presided over the realm of the dead and the afterlife. As the brother of Zeus and Poseidon, Hades' role involved ruling the underworld and ensuring the souls of the deceased were guided in their final resting place. His domain, the realm of the dead, was a mysterious and somber place, where the souls of the departed lived in eternal shadow. Hades was often symbolized by the Helm of Darkness, which granted him invisibility as well as the key to the underworld's gates. One of the key myths associated with Hades is his abduction of Persephone where he took her as his wife and the queen of the underworld, marking the changing of the seasons.
Another significant story involves Orpheus and Eurydice, where Hades played a pivotal role in the tragic tale of love and loss. Aphrodite Aphrodite, the captivating goddess of love and beauty in Greek mythology, held dominion over romantic love, desire, and physical attraction. As the daughter of Zeus and the sea nymph Dione, or born from the sea foam, she possessed an enchanting allure that could enchant both gods and mortals. Symbolically, the dove and the rose were closely associated with Aphrodite, representing love, purity, and beauty. Key myths linked to Aphrodite include her involvement in the Trojan War, where her promise of Helen's love to Paris led to the conflict, and her romantic entanglements with various gods and mortals, including her passionate affair with Ares, the god of war. Hermes Hermes, the swift and clever messenger of the gods in Greek mythology, bridged the realms of the divine and mortal, serving as a conduit for communication and heralding the will of the gods. As the son of Zeus and Maia, his domain extended to travel, commerce, and transitions between life and death. Symbolically, Hermes was often depicted wearing winged sandals and carrying a caduceus, a staff intertwined with serpents, symbolizing his agility and a role as a guide and protector of travels and merchants. Key myths associated with Hermes include his role as the psychopomp, guiding souls to the afterlife, and his famous theft of Apollo's cattle shortly after his birth. Dionysus Dionysus, the joyous god of wine and celebration in Greek mythology, presided over festivities, merriment, and the pleasures of life. As the son of Zeus and the mortal Semel, his domain centered on the cultivation of grapes and the art of winemaking, symbolizing the transformative power of the vine. Dionysus was often depicted with a grapevine or a thyrsus, a staff crowned with ivy and pine cone, representing his connection to nature and the wild. Key myths associated with Dionysus include his wanderings and adventures, the persecution he faced at the hand of the Titans, and his miraculous return from the afterlife. This ends today's video. If you learned something new, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content worth your every minute.